Hey, City Life. So we've been in a sermon series, Protagonist Anonymous, about overlooked characters in scripture, what we've called minor characters that serve up major lessons. But they don't get a lot of ink, so they don't get a lot of recognition. Like the packaging on these figures often reads notoriety not included or highlight reel not included. Like these Bible characters aren't going to make anyone's top 10 and they'll probably never trend on social media. Right? And I mentioned social media. Because it has conditioned us to hunger for maximum likes and shares. We hope for highlights. We seek out trophy photos. And in a culture that prizes the public shout out and the bold gesture, I often find myself, like the religious leaders of Jesus' day, drawn to do things so that other people can see them. To the point where if I'm not careful, right, doing a good work seems insufficient in and of itself. <laughs> but here's the thing. You talk about people in Jesus' day. His own father, Joseph, he didn't have many highlight reels. The only account we get with Joseph after Jesus' birth and dedication is when Jesus is lost in the temple at age 12. And I'm sure as Jesus' father, Joseph would have been cool with that not being included in scripture. But from there, like Joseph fades entirely to the background. He steps into anonymity and invisibility. And I've heard some from the pulpit tie his absence to failings as a father, right? That he ran off and others contend that he must have died young. It's an attempt to explain his lack of presence and praise for him in the pages of scripture. There's this borderline assumption that something must have gone wrong. But no matter the reason, the reality is that Joseph's life went largely hidden and unheralded by history and the masses. Yet it might be one of the most significant and meaningful lives lived in the entire Bible. Because alongside Mary, Joseph did the work of providing for, caring for, raising, disciplining, and setting an example for the Messiah, right? for Jesus Christ. There were few more important gigs in history. And it's notable that the last account we get of Jesus, or that we get of Jesus with Joseph present, is when Jesus was 12. Because in Jewish tradition, at 13 years old, a Jewish male like Jesus stepped into manhood. So before Joseph disappeared from the Bible's text, he had modeled manhood for Jesus till Jesus became one himself. Yet again, it didn't come with a highlight reel, or notoriety, or a series of stories about the job he did. And what's the major lesson that Joseph has taught me as a result? That my significance isn't tied to my prominence, right? My life's meaning isn't tied to prominence or fame or recognition in this life. And I need to heed that lesson again and again and again as the hunger to please man and to be seen and to be liked both socially and digitally is so often stirred until it's insatiable. But you know, there's a story of a master sculpture in one of the great medieval cathedrals of France, and he was carving a statue of Mary, right? Joseph's better and more visible half. <laughs> and this old man spent hours and hours carving the back of this statue of Mary. He was carefully finishing the intricate curves and folds of her gown. And let me tell you, as a former art major, drawing and detailing folds of fabric is no fun. And so someone asked the sculptor, like, what's the point, man? That statue is going to be placed in a dim place against some wall where no one is ever going to see the back of it. <laughs> and his answer, God will see it. And you know, it's just another reminder. God is in the unseen. He's in the unheralded. He's in the minuscule and seemingly unpostable. And when we hear well done, it won't be good and famous servant, but good and faithful servant. So may we prove faithful in the time we get to write our own story, because even if nobody else ever reads it fully, God sees it and God loves you. So let me tell you, God bless.